What's up everybody, so today uh, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick little tutorial explaining a fix to a common problem I've been seeing you guys post in the comments of my other video explaining how to make a Minecraft uh, server itself. So here is an issue I didn't really address too quickly. I did mention it in the video, but I didn't really show you guys how to fix this if this happens to you. So a lot of people are saying that, uh, oh by the way, I'm in Windows 10 now. Uh, because apparently a lot of people don't like Windows 7, so guess what? We literally opened up Windows 10 VM just so I can prove to you guys that Windows 7 doesn't make a damn bit of difference when it comes to Minecraft servers. So, basically, go back full screen. Um, you start, and the window pops up for a second, and it just disappears, and you can't read it. And you can do it over and over and over again. And you, sometimes you'll see a little bit faint text right there, but you can't read any of it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to edit the badge file. And in your badge file, you should have a line that looks similar to this. You would have copied it out of the description of my video or off of the website somewhere. But I'm not going to break down what this does. All I want you guys to be able to do is make a new line and type the word pause. Save it. And X out. Now when we click on this, the window shouldn't automatically close at the end. It'll give us a little prompt saying hit any button to continue. And after we hit that button, it will close the window. So now it'll keep the window open. Now we can actually read what it was trying to say up here. Alright, so it says Java XMX. Yeah, yeah, that, that was our, our line that we typed in. Alright, it tried to run that and it said Java is not recognized as an internal or external command operatable program or batch file and then it ran our pause command which paused it and now if we hit enter the screen the screen should disappear so basically what that means is we have to go and install Java so let's open up a command line real quick alright command prompt and we'll type in Java tech version if you guys get this error I want you to try and do this and it should say the same exact thing Java's not installed basically so, I gotta go on the internet, and I'll put a link to this, but uh, what I would do is I'll just type in Java download, I'll Google it, it should bring me up an Oracle website, oh, it's actually gonna bring me straight to the Java website, and let's make sure you're getting the, uh, the most up-to-date version of it. So you got to agree to the license uh, terms, and it might take a second. Alright, so after the file gets downloaded down here, you're going to want to take this exe, and I'll just drag it to my desktop real quick, and I'll run it. Alright. And we're going to install Java, so it's downloading the installer. So you basically just have to sit here and let it do its thing, and after it's done installing Java, we'll be back. Once you see this screen, 3 billion devices run Java, you know you're on the right track. This is a pretty famous screen. Alright, so it says we have successfully installed Java. So now we're going to close that, we're going to go back to our Minecraft server, and now you can see that our .jar is actually associated with Java, and it says executable jar file there. So, what we're going to do is now we're going to start it again. And there we go. It started loading up the server jar. And it's telling us that now we need to accept the end user license agreement. Which is what you normally have to do every time you set up a new Minecraft server. So we'll do that. And we'll start it again with the batch file. And allow it through the firewall. And a lot of people saying they're getting stuck on the loaded 8.11 advancements. You need to wait. So 
So once you get past that, it will say a bunch of other crap, and then it will start generating the spawn area. And if you guys are stuck at the loaded 811 advancements, that might just mean the server's hanging. It might have to do with your hardware of your computer. It you might not have enough RAM. It might not be able to get to this step because this is a pretty intensive step where it's actually generating the spawn area. This uses a decent amount of resources for the, the server because it's, it's generating these chunks. And once it's done doing this, it should be up and running all like normal. Yep, done. There you go. And you better join your server. And if you guys don't know how to join the server or what IP address to type in, because I'm going to explain this very briefly here. The IP address that I would use if I was running a client on this computer to join my own server is going to be completely different than the address that I would give out to my friend, let's say outside of my network down the street. So you're going to have to use a local, uh, a local area address here, whereas you're going to have to use... Uh, basically the address of your router which is going to be your external IP address to let someone else join. I have an entire video explaining the different ways that you can join your own Minecraft server. I'll link that in the description as well. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description. You can message me on Discord. Um, I'll leave all the links down there for that. And uh, I want to thank everybody for me hitting 800 subscribers. It's crazy the amount of feedback I got off that Minecraft video. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.